Hello and welcome to this video. My name is Jonas and in this video I'm going to be going over how to grow your personal brand. And we will focus on three simple steps that I will break down in this video. So the first step is that you need to create your avatar and that is basically who you are trying to appeal to in terms of your content because if you're trying to appeal to everyone you are basically appealing to no one because you're trying to go broad and not a lot of people can then resonate with what you're saying so you need to get down in terms of your avatar and really pinpoint who is it that I'm trying to reach with the content that I'm doing and the personal brand that I'm building. So the first step with inside of the creating your avatar part is to pick a goal. So is it to sign more clients for your agency? Is it to have more clients in your uh, fitness coaching business, uh, financial coaching business? health coaching business, um, life coaching business, whatever it might be. Is it to have more clients or is it to have a better social circle? So is it to appeal to other entrepreneurs or other coaches that are in your niche that you're trying to connect to? Is it to have um, a better dating life, to have a better looking profile in terms of potential people that you want to date is it to sell more mentorships courses whatever it might be you need to pick a goal because without a goal you can never really get to or grow your personal brand the, the way that you want it to grow because you don't have an end goal in mind you don't have anything to strive for then the next part is to have an ideal client and i came I just touch upon it a little bit when I said create your avatar, because this is basically going in again and figuring out, okay, who's my ideal client? How old are they? Are they uh, male or female? Are they interested in certain sports, hobbies? Um, do they do anything in particular in their day to day? Which pain points and struggles do they experience right now at this stage in their lives all this kind of things you need to pin down so that you can also of course create some content that is useful for the ideal client that you have in mind and you are trying to of course get into your business in some way or another the next thing is that you need to see and uh, the personal brand strategy as a numbers game and in the first step also creating your avatar it should be a numbers game and you need to set also a goal on how much you want to post every single week so that you can be consistent in terms of everything so i recommend having about four reels uh, that of course have something in relation to your avatar their pain points their interest etc and then posting to carousel lifestyle posts that just conveys uh, of course your lifestyle and how you're living your life etc so they can get an insight into this and then most uh, and then posting one story per day also lifestyle fan wins etc we will come into that etc in the next step just understand that consistency is the thing that you're striving for in terms of growing your personal brand because it isn't a an overnight success that you will experience uh, a great personal brand of course some might go viral but in 98 percent of the cases you are not the one that are going viral so just take it step by step build it up and then everything will align the next step is that you need to post content of course because otherwise people can't know you or see you in any way so the first thing that you can do is to post reels or yeah in in terms of that you can post for example head talk or lifestyle clips so head talk converts better lifestyle reels build trust plus a cool profile so you just need to figure out a good ratio for you that of course is is good in terms of what you like and and figure that out but yeah um 
what I also recommend is is to create thumbnails for every single one, even though if it's lifestyle or head talk, in order for it to look good and fit the ratio of Instagram. So of course for the the feed, but also in the real section, mostly in terms of the feed, because that's where people will land on when they first come to your profile. In relation to that, uh, you can talk about certain topics, having a certain style. So you can ask questions as well. You can go over questions that people have asked and make a reel about that. You can, of course, make normal videos, just handheld videos, uh, just talking to the camera about the, the certain topic that you want to speak about. And then, yeah, you can make sort of a story time. So going back to where you were before, before you yeah, came to where you are right now. And then you can offer free value. So free value and tips, tricks, all this sort of stuff, guides, resources, etc. You can do that as well and make lead magnets in terms of that to draw in more potential clients and use the reciprocity bias. And the next thing is that you can also post normal posts, of course, uh, which is more lifestyle posts your avatar dreams about and slide posts, for example, made in Canva for business purposes that can be that you want to share some a tip that you don't want to make a reel about that you just want to share with your audience on a post then you can make it into a carousel or you can make it into just a simple post and then yeah don't overthink post is simply to mix up your profile with the reels so you don't look super boring that there is actually a person behind it, a real person, not just someone who is talking about, uh, yeah, their particular field of interest or yeah, the the field that they are good in. Uh, it also shows a personality that you're showing other your interests as well, other parts of life. It may be that you have a family. It may be that, um, of course, you, you are playing football in your spare time or you are doing something else, playing video games. For It can also be that. Um, it's totally up to you. It's just so that people also get the more personal side of things. So it's not always business and tips and tricks, etc., etc. Then we have the stories here. You should just share again, day to day life, student wins, testimonials, tips, tricks, polls, Q and A's, and basically just anything that keeps your audience warm and engaged uh, in, in terms of it. So of course, polls will keep them a little bit more engaged as well as Q and A's where like tips and tricks will only re uh, restate that you are the authority in terms of who they are looking to sign up to in terms of how they can overcome their pain points and struggles day-to-day -day life again personality student wins testimonials social proof in terms of the thing that you're doing is working and yeah don't be shy to share your boring day-to-day -day life uh, people love authentic stuff so it isn't boring at all because that's how your life is portrayed and mostly we only see the glamorous things of instagram facebook linkedin whatever so sometimes people also just want to see something that they can relate to and it also makes you human which again makes people resonate a lot more with you rather than just being this guy who's only or girl who's just doing this all the time and everything's just good uh, and there's nothing bad uh, yeah that doesn't align with anyone maybe uh, i don't know the super rich or something like that but uh, uh, it doesn't align with me in in my uh, sort of opinion so in general make sure to be authentic and passionate when recording and that is of course mostly in terms of reels and also the same with reels, focus on light plus audio. Uh, your iPhone should just be fine when recording, basically. You don't need a huge setup in terms of everything and invest a lot of money into it. That's usually just a waste of money. Um, an, an iPhone and a little microphone here maybe also works uh, well. Also find an editing style that is unique. Use the same colors, font and music in your vids so that 
of course you create a brand identity and people can recognize once it's your reel um, when you post it also split test everything that you can because not everything is, is set in stone in terms of how you are going to grow your personal brand it it may be very different from how i'm growing my personal brand to your to you growing your personal brand because certain um certain audiences <clears throat> yeah of course resonates with different things um and as i said before maybe my interest doesn't align with um your audience's interest um so yeah just figure it out split test what works what doesn't see if there's different hooks uh, that might work better different tips different q a's different polls etc that are doing well for your business and step three is kind of an engagement hack so there is four of these basically so the first one is comments always answer every single comment you get on your post plus find 10 creators in the same niche as yourself and comment on their posts consistently don't comment emoji emojis but actually share value to the real picture that they posted and give your honest opinion about it uh, of course you shouldn't try to start a discussion of something crazy that you've commented but just the genuine uh, things that you have learned from the post or value to share maybe just saying what a fantastic uh, post that you have created x uh, so yeah um just do something like that and then the second thing is story polls make sure to create story polls that literally anyone can answer so for example ronaldo messi uh, pineapple on pizza yes or no uh, it's simply to farm engagement to push your story further you can repost your newest reel in the coming story uh, for an extra boost in terms of uh, engagement on that as well and yeah let your stories run out wait a few hours and then use the poll trick above then you'll pop up in your audience's feed instead of only on the, the stories side of things and then consistency it's the same with everything else that we've talked about consistency 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 it is key and it will win in the end because instagram rewards active accounts so make sure to post consistently and follow the schedule you created in step one which is the numbers game how many times you want to post and with your ideal client in mind so that was everything in terms of how to grow your personal brand at least what i have learned so far if there is anything that i'm missing then i would happily get feedback with it uh, and you can share that in the comments otherwise if you found this valuable please like this video and leave a subscribe for the next com upcoming videos so yeah thank you for watching this video and i will see you in the next one